The Republicans' second stimulus package is debuted finally, and we have all the details in a big update about the HEALS Act. Hey everybody, this is L.A. Lake with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update today. A breaking update minutes ago. It's like the heavens of light are coming into my set. This one's about the not just the check, but the entire package. So I'm going to go over everything you need to know, especially if you're on SSDI, SSI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Two things I want to say right before I get off, get to the subject of, of, of the issues at hand, is one... The four videos that came right before this, this afternoon, were taped minutes before the Republican announcement was released. I tried to update in the sticky comments why everything has now sort of flip-flopped. This video is being recorded after the Republican Second Stimulus Package has debuted, so I have the package in front of me. I'm going to go through it with you. Second, and this is so important, I'll probably be saying this every single day, this is a proposal. It's not a law, and I've already seen comments to uh, today's video saying, I heard on the news they passed a law about the check. I heard a news that they passed a law about rent. No, this is a proposal. And so what's going to happen now is that the Republicans' proposal, which is called the HEALS Act, is going to be merged with the HEROES Act from the Democrats, and they're going to debate and modify and see what part stands and what part la lands. So here we go. Let me get right to the check. The amount, 12, this, and I'm only talking about the Republican proposal uh, for this video. The Republicans propose a $1,200 check being paid to all individuals who are non-dependents on tax returns. So, uh, and, the, and the cap amount I'm going to get to shortly, it's actually a little bit more complicated than news reporters are reporting. But the cap is really at still at that seventy something thousand dollar 2019 level. But if you made more money than that, guess what? The Republicans want to give you a stimulus check. So the rich people are getting stimulus checks in this round that they were not getting in the first round. Next, dependents. Great, great, great wonderful news. All dependents will get a second stimulus check. I'll repeat that again. All dependents of any age who are on someone else's tax return will get a second stimulus check. So that falls in line with the Democrats. Here is the difference. They are proposing $500 as the dependents check. Yes. Insane. Uh, Next, let me go to how this check is actually phrased, which is a little bit weird. I mean, some of these things are just hideously confusing. But the way it says the check is, is paid is that um, it will be $1,200 if you made up to $75,000 in 2019. If it's a couple, husband and wife, it's if you made $150,000 2019, you get a double check, $2,400. Um, but if you made more than that, under the first stimulus package, you didn't get a check. Under the second stimulus package, they want to give rich people checks, the Republicans. So they will give you a check for reduced by $5 for every $100 in income going from $99,000 to $198,000. So they're giving a stimulus check to people who made up to individually $198,000 in 2019. This is totally different than the first stimulus package. And you're not going to hear this on broadcast news because I, I, I read five or six different articles to get all the details. And this only came up in one of the articles. Um, okay, so what is different between the Republican and the Democratic proposal? First, the amount of the check for non-dependents is the same. $1,200, $1,200, both proposals. Second, the payment of a check to all dependents of all ages, the same in both proposals. Dependents get a check, dependents get a check. The amount of the check for dependents is different. Democrats, $1,200, full check. Republicans, watered down $500 check. I don't like this. I think it's hogwash. If you are 60 years of age, which a lot of the viewers of this channel are of adult age and they're dependents on someone else's tax return, you, the Republicans want to give you a measly $500 check. 
it is hogwash. And I got to tell you, I'm not happy with it. And you know why I'm not happy with it is because Donald Trump specifically said that $1,200 was not enough of a check being proposed by the Democrats. He wanted to pay a more generous check. Now he's actually not even paying $1,200. He's going the other way. He's paying $500 if you're an adult dependent. Why are adult dependents being screwed over by the Republicans? I don't know. In, in, in my heart of hearts, I don't think this part of the bill is going to pass. I think the $500 for the dependents is hogwash. Um, next, I don't know why Republicans are giving stimulus checks to people who make $200,000 a year, nearly $200,000 a year. It's just... Uh, Lord. Okay, so that is the check. When would you get the checks? Everything else I've been telling you all the last few days stays the same. When you would get the check, how you would get the check. Um, the, oh, there was one thing I had in here, and I'm going to cover it more in tomorrow's morning show. I, I printed out something in here that if you've been, oh, here it is. Any individual in prison, <laughs> Boy, the Republicans don't like it if you're in prison. Anyone in prison for all of 2020 is ineligible to receive a rebate for a tax credit. Um, but I thought I read somewhere else that if you're in prison, you don't get a stimulus check. I just don't know. It's just, it's all over the place. Um, I'm, I know I'm going to get questions about child support. I don't know if the Republicans held up their promise that they would not deduct child support from the second stimulus check. I don't know that answer. I will research it for you. The Democrats, of course, will not re uh, take out for child support in their proposal. All right, so that is the check. Let's get to FP. Let's get to... Um, the next video that's always online in this channel, hazard pay. Democrats propose $10,000 hazard pay, um, up to $10,000, a lump sum drop in your account, $13 an hour you're paid based upon any hour you work during the pandemic, or $5,000 if you made over $100,000 in 2019 earnings. And to have that going forward, really, really wonderful thing. Republicans, no, you're not getting a penny. Republicans don't think you're valuable. Republicans don't want to pay essential workers. Republicans don't want to pay hazard pay. Republicans don't want to do anything for employees in this bill. If you're going to see what's going to happen as I go through the details of what Republicans have included, everything is for big business. It's really, really bad. First of all, um, I don't know which one. Here's my rant. I don't know who in this White House owns a lot of restaurants, but everything in this bill is about restaurants, and I'm a little sick of it, really. Uh, restaurants are not the bread and what well, bread and butter of this country. That's a youth of it. Uh, everything in this bill is about restaurants. There's a the, the Republicans include not hazard pay, but they include a bill th that allows you to deduct 100 of all of all restaurant receipts that you have. Through, uh, through the rest of the year. So they want you to go out to restaurants, spend a lot of money on restaurants, make restaurants very rich, and then have you deduct the money for restaurants. But it doesn't want to pay money for hazard pay if you worked in that restaurant. Oh, boy. Um, then they also propose, you remember how the Republicans said, we don't want an expensive bill, we don't want a bill, it's so expensive. Well, they include a provision that funds a new federal building at 2 or $3 billion. Next, they include PPP, money for big business to go, and, and restaurants as well, to go back and get more money for their business owners and their restaurants. It's just like the restaurant bill. The heels bill sounds like you know, it's a it's a heel of a head of a lamb, or a heel of a head, of, heel of some ham or something. Um, let's get to FPUC. So FPUC, a lot of confusion about FPUC, even after the heels, heels. I can't even say this name of this act with a straight face because they're such heels, some of these people. Uh, the Heels Act, someone in the comments already said put a heel to Mitch's face. I just um, The CARES Act uh, provided $600 per week for uh, on top of FPUC and UI. The Democrats proposed to extend that to 2021. So here is what the Dem Republicans are proposing in the Heels Act. It, they propose something that is very confusing, and I got to tell you, um, I'm going to go slow on this because it's not $200 a week. It's it's a little bit more complicated on this. The provision, I'm actually reading from the bill. The provision would continue supplemental payments of $200 a week for unemployment through September. So it would be $200 a week through September instead of $600. 
But then in October, this payment would be replaced with a payment of up to $500. That one combined with state unemployment benefits would replace 70% of lost wages via either a formula specified in the bill or a state processing an alternative method and receiving a proposal from the secretary. States that were unable to provide this additional payment tied to lost wages by April 5th could apply for a waiver and pay a fixed dollar amount up to two months. You want me to translate that? I can't even understand what the hell that means. It basically says, okay, we're going to give you $200 a week on top of your UI or PUA up to um, September 30th or September 31st. But this October thing is a hot mess. It's basically saying... After that, you can get up to $500 a week or 70% of your lost wages, but, and here's this horrible but, if the states can't figure this out, the states can apply for a waiver where they don't have to even pay that. What? And then, uh, if, if they can't figure that out, the states could forego paying that and just pay a fixed dollar amount for up to two months and be done with it. So when some of the people that heard when they first heard the Heels Act debut, you know, two hours ago, they said, oh, it's $200 a week, it's $200 a week. No, no, no. It's actually worse than that. It's $200 a week through September and then starting October, the states can apply for a waiver and not even pay that. Yeah, I, that's not going to pass. Sorry, folks. That's never, it's, Nancy is never going to allow that to, it's just not going to pass. It's just, it's insane. It's like totally insane. If you watched my FEC video, like only two hours ago, I said, if they come in at one or $200 a week, they're just going to be, their political futures are going to be over. I mean, we're, we're done now. I, I'm not even to the, the worst part of the bill yet. It actually gets worse. Um, um, oh, there's also another part of the the stimulus check. The amount of rebates phased out completely of the single filers exceeded 99000 The head of income could exceed 147 The joint uh, filers could have no children exceeding 198 It's just, it's inherently confusing over and over and over again. Um, so then they have a provision which, okay, this is good news. If you can't pay your student debt, you don't have to pay it back. Streamlines nine current ways to repay a federal student loan into two simple options, a standard 10-year mortgage-style replacement plan or an income-based replacement plan dependent on the borrower's annual income. The borrower will pay 10% of their discretionary income, blah, 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 and if the borrower has undergraduate loans, they'll be forgiven over 20 years of payment. Federal student loans who can borrow replacement can switch to this. It, you know, they're trying to do something at least. I mean, that's good. They're trying to do something with student debts, but these are only federal student debts. These aren't private. They're not forgiven, but it says if you have no income, you don't have to pay them. Okay, that is, uh, Lord, it's just insane. Okay, so then there is that, um, the $1 billion federal building. Why, why is the FBI getting a federal building in a COVID-19 stimulus bill? I, you know, is, are they opening three restaurants in there so we can have them tax deduct deductible as well and give them PPP money to the, the restaurant owners in the federal building? Yeah, I, I can see where they're going with this insanity. Uh, okay, so then it has a lot of money for COVID testing and tracing, which we, which we all know is good. But then there is the worst part of the bill. And if you watched my video right before this, you saw I really even edited in a, a description of the bad news. You know, people can deal with people who can't make up their mind, but no one likes a flat-ass liar. And Steve Mnuchin today is a liar. I will say it. He's an absolute liar. And so is Larry Kudlow. How dare them? And I don't have time, nor am I going to do it, but as you know, Larry Kudlow and Steve Mnuchin appeared on CNN and Fox just 24 hours ago and said that the second stimulus bill from the Republicans would include a rent eviction moratorium. It's not in here. They literally lied. They told you they're going to 
ensure that Americans were not dispersed, which, as you know, is a euphemism for saying made homeless, and they did not include it. In fact, they said that the bill was done. It was finished and ready to go. So what is going on? That, when I saw it, made me enraged. enraged. Hazard pay not included in the Republican second stimulus package. Rent eviction moratoriums not included in the second stimulus package. Mortgage forbearance, uh, um, uh, loan forbearance not included. So if you can't make the mortgage on your home, you're about to lose your home to foreclosure, Republicans are not helping you. If you are about to be evicted from your apartment because you can't make rent, Republicans are not helping you. If you own an apartment building and you can't make your bills and you're about to lose it to foreclosure, Republicans are not, are not helping you. If you are a bank and you don't want to be picking up 55 foreclosed properties, because your mortgage because your mortgage payers can't pay their mortgages republicans are not helping you this bill is by they should not have called it the the heels act they should have called it the you know <laughs> the jerks act i mean it is literally the most the bogus bunch of mess i have ever seen in my entire life how can you have a financial cliff and America on the edge of the financial cliff, and you have nothing, nothing to protect people from rent eviction moratorium. You have nothing to ensure that people work in hazardous place of work. And, and you have nothing but an attempt to really, uh, you know, sugarcoat, window dress, unemployment benefits at $100 a week or $200 a week. That's that's crap. I mean, let's let's be let's be frank. They understood the Republicans that not extending unemployment benefits would look bad, so they just threw a few dollars out there and say we're extending it. Yeah, it's a two hundred dollars a week, and then after that, it, after like two weeks of it, like in September, then states can forego it completely if they can't figure out how to do it. Junk. But what's in the bill? I haven't even gone over. A lot of money for restaurants. They want America to spend money at restaurants nonstop and have it all deductible, 100% deductible to the end of the year. They want people to be spending money in restaurants. They want a new federal building. They want PPP money for big business. They want to ensure that you cannot sue a business owner because of COVID-19 issues unless they did it deliberately, which is an inherently un incredible, almost unlawful legal standard. They want to ensure that um, <clears throat> that businesses continue and that employees are left to the sideline. Gone also are the claims that they would pay you to get back to work, the Portman plan, $400 a week. Gone is the Brady plan, that money to get you back to work. Gone is the, the Mitt Romney plan that would you know give you hazard pay under a different type of calculation. The bill is literally just a bailout for big business again. It does nothing for the people of this country. And so ultimately, um, I want you to stay motivated, stay positive, and stay focused because this is a damn proposal. And it's the crappiest proposal I have ever seen. Ultimately, I want you to understand this is not law. This is a proposal. And there's only one thing that worries me as I sit here on a Monday afternoon. We got this week and we got next week to get from this type of crap to a real law. And I really am worried how this group of people can get that type of work done that fast when the starting point is so bad. A lot of stuff tomorrow morning. Stay tuned and join me tomorrow morning about 8.30 Pacific Standard Time for our morning show. Boy, that was a lot of fun. And you really enjoyed it. 100,000 views. And it's only 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. today uh, in just a couple of hours. Really loved doing it. And I loved your comments as well. So I can respond to all your comments. I want you to stay motivated. I want you to stay positive. I want you to stay focused. You're getting a check. Um, adult dependence, I'm worried about this $500. I don't think it's going to fly. But the good thing is you're getting a check. As always, stay focused, stay motivated, stay positive, and stay in LA for more.